a couple, it's the end of the year, so let's have a couple live updates. Uh, Luna's coming, so you'll probably hear her meowing. Yeah, so hat tip to Bacon Bravo for uh, the tips on the mic. Last time we infiltrated a goblin camp, and I am getting really interested in a chicken. Let's see if we can turn the chicken on the goblins and uh, convince the chicken to jo join my crew. You know, we do the important stuff in our Let's Plays. Luna's being good. She's just sitting and being chill for once, and she's not uh, sticking your face. Oh, never mind that. All right. Well, we what we, we what we need here clearly is no women on the team. Let's go to camp. Put Lizel back in the kitchen and get Will on our team to use animal hand uh, his ability to talk to animals. Speak. Wait in camp. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? Yes. I'm not arguing. Remain here. As you say. Do not keep me waiting. Well met. I gotta get the guys back together. That's the spirit. How badly have I screwed up Will's level progression? Let's screw it up even more. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, Warlock. Bone Chill sounds really good because it prevents healing. I regret giving uh, Gale True Strike. I kind of thought about that afterwards. Oh, wait. That's gonna use an action? What? Why? Why did I do that? Defensive Duelist. I'm gonna keep defensive rules. I kinda like that. Alright, the gang's back together. There. Can we just talk to the chicken? Chicken, chicken, chicken. Where is it? Come on, chicken. There. Boy, come on, chicken, chicken, chicken. Dag nab it. He doesn't chase after the chicken. The chicken doesn't stay still long enough. Disheveled chicken. Escape, escape. All right. Slightly drunk. Okay. Are they all slightly drunk? That's the game done. Come here. So now we have to pay her. We're screwed up. Well, wait. Why can't we replay? Aw, oh, really? We can't replay it? That's the game. Aw, oh, dang it. I wanted to try again. The only way I think I could try out the chicken thing would be to load a older game. Let's try it out, because I was really curious to see what would happen if I convinced the chicken to join my team. <laughs> it would also be interesting to see how things might play out differently if I uh, choose different options for <coughs> the poor bard. Because last time I tried uh, encouraging him, hoping that would help the goblins cheer for him, and all it just did was distract him. Volo. I reckon draw Ragslin's the gobbo in charge, the way this one's carrying on. Give him your rapt attention. You! Move off! Do as she says. Now! <clears throat> now, where was I, huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours? Oh, certainly not! What are you doing? I'm busy here! You lying! To you? Never! Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> uh, draw Ragslin! Uh, draw Ragslin! Um, uh, um, uh, I am a Draw Ragslin! Um, um, Tumptuous! Uh, draw Ragslin! Uh, um. You broke him! Wait! Wait! Uh, draw Ragslin! We so this is the same as before. It doesn't matter what you do, he always gets flustered. Back to your cage. Now, oh, look what you've done. I didn't do anything. It's all on you, mate. Of course, man. Ooh, okay. Idiot. A big troll. The other thing I wanted to see is if I could convince the trolls to attack these guys. That might be worth a shot. Oh, Tevya Smolka is here. Well, now you gotta go save him. Right, we gotta save the chicken. All that and more. Uh, Tevya Smolka says, you can convince the trolls to join the, not, what are, they're not trolls, what are they, ogres. You can convince the ogres to join you. Yeah, it takes a pretty high, uh, persuasion roll, and I think Asterion has a better shot of it, because he gets some rogue options for deceiving them. I asked them, I convinced them to join me if I paid them 1,000 coins, and I wish I hadn't done that. I could have convinced them to join me and just offered them the bodies of the people they slaw slaughtered to eat. But I don't really trust them as far as I can throw them anyway, so I'm planning to backstab them. Uh, let's see here. Chicken chasing. What? 
Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just gotta chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you've been bested by the bird. Seems easy enough. <laughs> Fancy yourself, do you? Care to pin that claim down with some coin? Sure, I'll place a bet. We got the coin. We got the challenger. Now we just need the crowd, hey? Eh? The shovel chicken. Let's see. Urge her to attack them. What's wrong? I am frightened again to the featherless ones, but not again. Not again. Well, can I persuade her to let me win? I don't see what persuading her to attack will do. Uh, urge her to attack them. And it's still at 20, even when we're talking. Uh, add bonus. Guidance. Okay. Come on! No! Well, I'll just use inspiration. No, says the chicken. No, you don't understand. It is very, very important to me that you attack these people. That's not even going to do it, isn't it? No, that'll do it. That did it. Oh, poor chicken. Uh, That's the game done. Come here. Well, do I win because you killed her? Oi! You're not meant to chase it to death. Now you owe me. As the symbol glows, ah! power courses. You killed it! Authority. I owe you nothing. I didn't kill it. Ooh, the game's not over. Maybe you can be the next chicken. Let's intimidate her. I feel bad for the chick. I didn't think, well, how's that gonna work? To tell the chicken to turn off the... You're bloody mad, you are. Go on, then. You're just ruining the game anyway. Okay, well that didn't work out the way I was hoping. I was hoping the chicken would, uh... I was hoping I could, like, persuade the chicken to run through the goal for me, but it doesn't look like it. All right, I'm going back to my real game, then. And we're gonna give up on the chicken. Tevia Smolka is currently in, uh, Act 3. I am a himbo paladin. Low IQ, high charisma. I have rolled so many natural ones on intelligence investigation checks, and I'm loving it. I'm mostly letting the himbo paladin be the face, because I just kind of like, I kind of like the idea of trying to be the yes chad in this game. Can, can I save everyone? Apparently I can't save that chicken. Oh, we can take pa paintings, grass house, okay. Yes, this is exactly what I would do in this situation. I would collect all the paintings. I, I'm not even kidding. Oh. An ignoble hat. Let's give uh, Asterion an ignoble hat, because I haven't had given him an ignoble hat in a while. Let's see if they have anything to say while they're asleep. Yeah, he started a conversation. Burp. Who's got the better of them? Practically unconscious. Go on, give it a smack. Well, that would just soak them. Another weird little... Ooh, a cracked wall, but it's sturdy. So sturdy means that it's not easy to break, right? Slashing immunity, piercing resistance, acid, necrotic, fire, lightning, cold, psychic, poison, radiant, force. So how's about bludgeoning? Break the wall. No. My head's killing me. 
What is all that noise? As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Oh, because we're in trouble. Go back to sleep. Nothing. Lie back down and be silent. Let's use regular persuasion. Hush now. Go back to sleep. Oh, I should be using guidance all the time. I think I'm still going to make it. Just barely. Yeah, always use guidance. Happily. But the next noisy bastard that comes through here gets gutted. Okay. So that's unusually sturdy, and he's pissed if you wake him up. Anything interesting over here? Doesn't look like it. More tired sleeping guys. Ooh, water. Apparently you can like do things like use water and combine that with electricity to increase the power of electricity. Like this, there's a lot of thought putting this stuff. Sharp-eyed rag, snore. Tag hun. Oh, he's one of those uh, bug bears. Stimp. Grasmok. Araga. Christbok. Araga. Hello, an antidote? I'll take that. And they don't even care. Thank you. Okay, there's someone suspicious over there. Booyog Pinnel. Let me take his stuff. Ooh. Magic of the Weave, an introduction. Help us out. Says here the goblinoids are obstreperous and malodorous. What's that mean? It means smelly and noisy. That's quite the compliment. It means you're extremely intelligent. I think that uh, Bernard's a himbo, so he wouldn't think of that. It means smelly and noisy. Ain't that the truth? Proper stink around here. Now we've settled it. And all that ruckus makes it hard to concentrate on reading. Where did you find that? Uh, two. Most goblins I've met aren't terribly interested in reading. Where did you find that? Belonged to some bloke who showed up here asking questions. Bold as a bugbear, he was. Said he's writing a book about the absolute. Lads didn't like that. Said he was a spy or some such. Think they've locked him in the cells already. Well, I had a good chin wag with him, though. Interesting bloke. Okay, I see the manuscript. That bloke was Volothrap Getterm, named Chronicler of the Realms. What's so interesting about it? Have you met any other interesting people? A druid, perhaps? Could I see his manuscript? I am finished with it. It's enough reading here to last me a lifetime. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Must have books. You will give me the book uh, for illithid power. <coughs> uh, intimidation will be a very short lifetime if you don't hand me the manuscript. You should spend your time in prayer, not reading this nonsense. That seems like a very paladin answer. You should be pr pray to Jesus right now. Add bonus. Add guidance. Add another guidance. I can only add one. Oh, I see. It's only the only difference is which one. Okay. You can't stack guidance. Suppose you're right. Absolute rewards faith, not book learning. Take it. Maybe if I pray hard enough, I'll get some of that boo yag for myself. On Goblins, My Life Among the Conquering Host by Volo. All right, we got a new book. Can we take it, get any other books around here? Does he have anything else to say? You should <coughs> get a drink before the party dies, Dan. He doesn't care about the stack of books now, does he? Magic of the Weave, an introduction. If you try to understand the weave, a true pity, for only those who are truly attuned to the weave can rightly call themselves spellcasters. Thus comes the question, what is the weave? It is an essential element of the universe. It runs through everything in unseen threads. It is what makes magic possible. It is also, though I will not go into further detail here, 
the goddess Mistra herself. See, magic of the weave, Mistra and the spell plague. The weave isn't magic precisely. Rather, it is the raw material from which magic is woven, not entirely unlike how a collection of threads is shaped and formed to a garment. Those with the necessary talent and skill can manipulate the weave and perform magic by casting spells. Developing this skill takes years of learning and constant practice. You might have heard of those who can cast spells because they are born with an innate connection to the weave, commonly called sorcerers, or worse, because they struck a bargain with an otherworldly creature, also known as warlocks. Do not be deceived. Their magic is unpredictable, uncontrolled, and in some cases, not even rightfully theirs. No, to truly know and manipulate the weave is an art. For those wizards who master it will know the limitless power and beauty the weave provides. I think the virgin wizards are a little salty about sorcerers gang. <laughs> you, 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 that's not real magic if you just do it. You gotta read books like me. Okay, we can't steal it though. Uh, what about the book I stole from Volo? A loosely bound collection of papers containing rough sketches of a goblin priestess with accompanying text. On goblins, my life among the conquering hosts. Let's read it. An excerpt from Volo's forthcoming guide to goblin society. My life among the conquering host. It has often been noted that goblins are cowardly, tending to flee from robust challenges and scattering far and wide if their leaders are felled. I tell you that is not always so. The goblins of my recent acquaintance, fine, though uncouth fellows by and large, have a fiery courage, fueled by their love of the absolute. From the mighty magic-wielding Booyag to the lowly muck troubling Pariah, they seem more willing to fight and indeed to die for this new god than even the most stalwart devotee of Helm or Tempest. So far, I have been unable to discover the domain or provenance of this emboldening deity, but with every hour that passes, I come closer to the truth of the matter. For now, know this, priests and trusted devotees of this god even be they goblins, are capable of wielding more powerful magics than even I can conquer. Conjure. Secrets of the High Chieftain. Gale is inspired. Okay. And we gain an inspiration. Nice. Okay. Uh, if I were to attack these guys, it seems like the best spot would be to kill this guy real quick and then just blast him with lightning from up here. So I've got a pretty good position in mind to attack them, but I want to talk to the rest of them first. Oh, Zoomer Stasi is here. It's too bad this game soft locks you if you go full Dark Urge. Anti-Paladin, try it sometime. Uh, yeah, so I started with a Dark Urge playthrough, and I didn't like it because I was going for, like, a Himbo Paladin, so it wasn't, like, the right vibe for me. I might do a proper Dark, dark Urge path later because it is kind of interesting, but it just it just wasn't the right feel for the character. I wanted to be, like, a very, you know, Paragon hero type. The monkey's paw of this game is that there's now going to be horror stories, of the 5e sessions people are going to have with people who think this game is representative of the PNP. I'm get, I don't know what that abbreviation stands for. I'm guessing it just means that this game isn't necessarily the most uh, accurate. I know they had to like futz with some things, right? Like they're, they're tweaking a lot of the rules a little bit. Oof, hard luck, mate. Told you it weren't as easy as it looked. Leave. I don't want to play again. Nah, because it didn't seem to work very well. Oh, what's this warlock got to do? Think the absolute wants me to have another drink. Yes, he does. Go for it. Oh, and more goblin graffiti. What is it? Hold on. It's a dog and a goblin killing somebody. They like blood and guts. That's their favorite. Baro Eknuk. Slightly drunk. I ain't paid to talk. Keep walking. Ooh, okay. There are definitely a lot of guys. Like, if I pick a fight, it's going to be a crazy hard fight, even if I get a good position. Okay, Tracker Kurz, Brawler Tiny, Sharp Eyed Breg, Crusher. Shh. You should listen to Crusher. He's just. He can do anything. What are you staring at? You think I'm small? You're just a freak. Gotta, gotta listen to Crusher. He gets mad if you don't. Mad! Ooh, dead adventurer. Okay, let's take some oranges. Fresh disharmony, bear ends. 
We couldn't pick this, humans. Oh, you got him good. And who are you? Another pest? Humans. Finger rule the world. Ah. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. A lot of assumptions here. I don't think I'm better than anyone else. I don't just think so. It's a fact. You're nothing but dirt beneath my feet. Leave. I'm your superior. You better show some respect. So should I be using the illiquid wisdom? I have a feeling it's gonna. I'm gonna pay a price for it. Uh, I, let's go with a himbo response. I don't think I'm better than anyone else. Everyone says that, and then they spit our faces. But no more. Things are changing. We got the absolute on our side now. You better learn your place. Go on. Kiss more foot. Or I'll wipe that nasty look right off your face. Well, go on. Give him a nibble. That is not a yes chat response. You can't be serious. I'd sooner spit in your face. Intimidation. How about you kiss my feet instead? <laughs> Attack the- Let's go intimidation. Add bonus. I am not kissing no goblin feet. Success. Oh, okay. Riven, this says honor mode is the most difficult playthrough in the game. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm kind of a noob at D and D, so I'm not going to be doing honor mode anytime soon. Ta tactician was tough for me. Ugh, low mate, just piss off. You're not welcome here. Not so mighty, mighty after all. I imitation, you, intimidation. You better kiss my foot now. <laughs> Illithid wisdom. You will obey me, Neil. <laughs> I- I'm pushing it! <laughs> Must make Goblin kiss play! There's this thing called Chain of Command, Command Goblin! The Goblin stares, mouth agape. Then he sets his jaw and falls to his knees. <laughs> Styrian Galen will all approve. <laughs> I've done it. Arrogant swine. We totally destroyed that man's career. <laughs> Oh, children. Four, eight, and five. <laughs> you look like you think you're world. Mess with us, and you'll end up like this bleeder. Keep threatening me, see what happens. Sorry, I don't want any trouble. <laughs> that could be sarcastic to kids. Who's the dead man? Let's fish for some information. Don't matter who he was. He ain't nothing but a stain now. Just like you'll be if you don't clear off. Keep threatening me. See what happens. Sorry, I don't want any trouble. I'm not. I, I uh, intimidated Crusher. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be pushed on by these squirts. Oh, you're real tough. Bullying a kid. Oh, I walked right into that one. Or I'll fetch my mum. She was as tough as wolf make bit. The absolute came along. Now she can punch out a dragon. Stupid dead bastard. Give him a good kicking. He deserves it. Kick the corpse. Where did you do deserve that? Where did you do deserve that? He killed my mum and dad. Made a bloody orphan of me. I almost feel bad for the runt. Almost. Sorry for your loss. I ain't bothered about it. Better off without them. Stupid old geezers should have part more of a fight. Don't mean we can't enjoy putting the boot into this prick of stick, though. Pensions for diplomacy. Sir Bernard is inspired. Okay. You could curdle warg milk with that ugly mug. Lol, says DZD. 
bottles. <coughs> Man. This cold or whatever is kicking my butt. Ooh, locked, but it looks like it's okay. Attack, so we're gonna have Stereon. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Just admiring your hat. Who's that? Rancer. That's the lot of it. Hey! Nice. Let's take this breer. A weird little entrance. Let's poke around down here real quick. Maybe there's something down here. All right, I'm going to talk to the ogre and see if I can brass my way into the camp. I'm guessing if I use the ogres, I have to use them at some point in the first act, right? Like, they can't, like, follow me into Baldur's Gate, can they? And this would seem like a great time to use them when I'm in a, trying to get past an entire camp of these monsters. I am going to now equip my good stuff, my very favoritest axe. No, that's the light one. Where's my big boy? There we go. Very heavy great axe. Guard Gurgen. No go inside. Inside boy. Mm -hmm. has music. Bear, dance. You dance too. That's a little suspicious. Will he stop me from going in? He is a guard, right? I thought I was supposed to go in and try to, like, intimidate. Uh, they asked me to intimidate a prisoner for them. Okay. Oi! Ain't no party in here! We're doing the absolutes work! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Let's see. Illithid power. I'm not here to talk to a lowly guard. Deception. I've got an audience with the one in charge. Intimidation. You don't need to know about my business. Move. They seem ready to, to attack me the first one to strike. Let's just go with uh, Paladin Intimidation. I don't want to rely on the Illithid. So I have... Add my guidance. Hello, Luna. You're going to be my good luck charm, okay? Give me a 20. That'll do it, right? Normally, we stick you foreign types in the spider pit. But the Absolute says we're all making nice now. So in you go, I suppose. Who's in charge around here? Well, now, gonna have to be more specific than that. We're drowning in true souls, here we are. You here to see Priestess Gup, Boss Raxlin, or the Drow? Ooh. I'm here for rags, and then I want to see Priestess Gut. I've got an audience with the drow. Ooh, okay. Boss Ragsden was the one the bard was singing about earlier. Let's try Ragsden. Well, look. Big Boots here has an appointment with Draw Ragsden himself. Throne room's at the back. He's communing, mind. So step soft. Warrior Nrog. Oh. <laughs> Being boozing won't make the branding go any easier. I tried. <laughs> Forgive the reception, eh, mate? Had some intruders a while back. Can't be too careful. Was there a druid among these intruders? A druid? Can't be sure. Got one of them chained up below, though. Just follow the honoring. Ooh. Bloody racket. I can't take some stuff. Come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Oi, so much fun. Nothing. That those thieves almost got past. We got them now, eh? Oh, that's the well. Nothing. Singing. We'll know who sent them. Oi, my people pay him a visit in return. That'll be some real fun. Okay, <laughs> who we got? Tracker, Fezzik. It's good you ain't causing trouble. Boss means business now he's got the absolute in his ear. Man, Tracker. 
Sig. Oh, smell that meat sizzling. Can't tell if it's the branding or the party. Making me bloody hungry either way. Lovely. They eat people. Bloody racket. Ooh, okay. Sharp by Nas. That, this would have been a tough little fight. I so much for oh, I thought you was my replacement. But no. I bet Merg has drunk herself stupid. Sharp eye got grooves. This ain't the party, mate. No fooling around. Get back down. Now, my question is, if I kill everybody out there, will they know? Like, will they, will the, someone raise an alarm in here or will they treat this as a different okay. section? Oh, I'm kind of tempted. I really want to try the fight and see if I, I have it in me to take them out. Because I, I have a feeling like that many people, even if I've got a perfect position, they'll, they'll wipe the floor with me. I'm going to want someone tough on the bridge. I am definitely going to want to have Bernard on the bridge to hold off those guys. There. Oh, shit. Gail, hit him again. Why did he get a chance to run off like that? Okay. So he just runs off and does he raise an arm? Dang it. Why didn't that kill him? Okay, well, let's just try blasting him and see how badly this goes. Oh, I've used up a lot of my spells. Okay. I'm just totally going to die when I try this, but I want to try it anyway, just for the fun. 60%. Let's try it. There. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Look at them all. Everybody in the camp. Yeah, you were... They are not encouraging you to try this. I'm going to be in so much trouble. Are they all awake? They are awake. Can they reach us from down there? Okay, they're all going to dash up. When in doubt, use fireball or black powder barrels. Yeah, the black powder barrel will work pretty well. Advantage. Let's do it. No, not Super Nard. No! Oh, I'm a moron. Dag nabbit. Okay, fine. <laughs> I can't kill, kill each other. I no no cat. Do not stand on my left. You're going down. There. Okay. Sorry. I put her down a little harder than I meant to. I think she's okay. Yeah, you're okay. Okay. She's alright, gang. Yeah, they still don't know what to do. Except you basically just run under the bridge. Now let's try gargantuan cleave. Oh man. Yes, all three. Critical hit, all right. I might be able to get through this if I'm careful. Just the fact that most of them are not in the fight is helping immensely. Don't attack Sir Bernard again. That wasn't my uh, great, that wasn't my finest hour. It doesn't hit a lot of damage. It's like Swift in Pokemon. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but at least it hurts them. Hmm. Let's try to get him across the grease. Doink. Nope. This fight's really doable. Uh, okay, I'm going to load because I'm, I'm sensing the direction this fight is going. Let's kill some gobos. What I'd like to know is... Could I sneak attack a couple of these guys to death? Maybe give advantage? Let's see here. Where's my cantrip? Guidance. Use on a stereon. Okay, then have stereon going to sneak. Sneak attack, a sleeping guy. Will that help him? Critical hit. Nice. Oh, but he's not quite dead. He's knocked out temporarily. Still have guidance, so let's do another one. I see, that's the temporary knockout. But I want to kill these guys, so we're just going to kill them. Oh. I see, because I used, uh, because I have passive on. I ain't drunk enough yet, okay. 
Well, I'm not going to use that now, then, because I don't know if that's going to screw with me. I'm in a life or death situation, so that is... Passives. We're not going to have it on. That'd be nice for, like, fighting people who I want to live in question. But... Goblins must die. Is it always a critical hit when they're asleep? That's nice. Uh, Sterion, stay here. We need you, skill monkey. Why is Will... Why is Gale kneeling over? Arcane Hunger. Okay. What does Arcane Hunger do? He has disadvantage to constitution saving throws. Okay. Oh, I'll have to speak slowly. I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate with my condition gnawing at my insides like a teething displacer kitten. I think you, I'll have a magic artifact. Let's give him a magic artifact. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Uh, what will happen to this item? Should I give it to you? The items you want are more useful. You can't have anything yet. Uh, I can't help just now. Bear with me, please. What will this happen to this item? Should I give it to you? I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. Give Gale a magic artifact. Oh, I don't want to give him my precious dragon's grasp. I like letting uh, Bernard have guidance in case I don't have Will on the team. Hello again, Luna. Come on down here. Uh, Zoomer says, Gale is kind of the worst companion in retrospect. Yeah. Uh, Zoomer Stasi says, funnily enough, a lawful good paladin will probably wipe out the tieflings and goblins because both are inherently chaotic and enlightenment. They were really strongly signaling to me like the tieflings aren't demons. They're like dudes who just look red. So I kind of bought that and went with it. I didn't know if there's like an in-universe thing where paladins will like hunt down and kill tieflings, but it, the goblins are eating people. I'm not. I'm not sparing them. I guess dancing lights is probably the most useless thing. Yeah. Donate that. Thank you. It's going to take away my favorite item sooner or later. Oh, that hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. DZD says, kind of glad I never found Gale now. I just got the Rock Gnome Wizard hired him. I, he was kind of hard to miss. It was a giant flashing thing. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of interested in his story. I can tell like he's gonna be, it's going to be a pain to work with him, but I'm kind of interested to see where his story goes. I'm glad you're feeling better. Your condition sounds unpleasant, to say the least. How do I know the real monster isn't you? Perhaps now you'll tell me what all this is in aid of. The gratitude doesn't make up for what I lost. What are you going to do to compensate? Uh, let's ask. I want this guy to trust me. Uh, what's this in aid of? I need to know more about this condition. Grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. You mentioned I'm glad I could help. Uh, that condition of yours is a very expensive one. I hope you don't regret losing that artifact. I could it could have been cruising useful. Just so you know, this is the last time I promised it. Don't mention it. I'm glad I could help. I'm the yes chat. My lord, I bow to your boundless kindness. What's interesting about Gale is I can't tell if he's being sarcastic or not, right? Okay, no more guidance. And they haven't noticed. Oh, that's wonderful. We could just pepper them with arrows from here. DZD. I don't know how I missed him either. I just went everywhere, but where was he in Act 1? Okay, so at the very beginning of Act 1, the you're walking out past the ship, and there's this giant purple glowing energy beam, and it looks really dangerous. And if you try, like, try to touch it, it burns you. And if you approach it, then Gail uh, pokes his arm out and asks for a hand, and you need like an athletics check to help him out. Stoner, can't be added to inventory. All right, I feel like blasting these guys to kingdom come. Advantage, there we go. Well, he's gonna move. 
the matriculations are causing him problems. That's it, you're done. Surprised, okay. And we're gonna cantrip the heck out. Right, Eldritch Blast. That's a good cantrip. What I found out is that this game is either like ridiculously hard if you just go in without a plan or pretty, e pretty uh, easy to handle if you actually like pick out good terrain. Well, I am hiding, right? Oh, but I'm with an eyesight. Hiding successful. Wow, that worked. Let's take it. Hide again. Now they see me. Wow, that's some great hiding. <laughs> now we watch them run around like a bunch of rabbits. Opportunity attack. Yeah, let's try this. Opportunity spell, shocking grasp. Hey, that's nice. I used it. I didn't think I would use it. All right. Now, what's important about that is I didn't have to learn the cantrip Shocking Grasp to be able to use that. I don't think I ever taught him uh, Shocking Grasp. I don't have it as a cantrip, do I? No. Okay, so it's just like a little bonus. 330 gold on Corolla. Holy cow, they're rich. Whatever. <laughs> nothing ventured. Oh, I'm rocking my throat. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's do it. Walk right into the middle of them and do Gargantuan Cleave and see if it kills him. And he's dead. Why? Because of fire there. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. The heroic sacrifice was for nothing. Miss. Yeah, this isn't working. Okay, I need a better position. Oh, okay. Is that how they're doing it? Really? I'll just jump it then, right? I've got to be able to jump it. Hmm. What's that? Bernard, you have the shovel. Oh good, more than they have shovels now. Whoa! Lightning resistance, bark skin. Wow, replaces the effects of other elixirs when drunk. Okay. Elixir of the Colossus, and to increase your size. Weapon steal an additional 1d4 damage. Kill giant strength. And meat. Okay. Love it. Heavy. Oh, short bow. Just take it off. Hmm. Wow, that's a little precarious. Killed a few giant bats in my day, Astari. But never hunted a vampire. Just to remind you, I'm merely a spawn. It won't count. But if you want a true vampire. I'm happy to recommend one. Foreshadowing. Okay, we're not going to go there yet. That's something else. I don't know where the other guys pop out. They come out. Oh, no, 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 no. Careful. Careful. We're going to jump down here. Where are they? Good grief. I lost them. Where is my party? Can't give up now. Okay, okay, there's a pathway here. Interesting. Okay, this might be useful. Might be worth exploring here then. Backpack, the song. More for me. Ooh, a treasure chest, okay. Open up. Man, rewards everywhere. Oh shit! I, su I succeeded the passage. Ah, fine. I'm I'm swallowing it. Yeah, they punish you for running around too fast. Definitely. These tools. Glowing shield, loving protection. Once per short rest, if you're below 50 hit points, and take damage. You gain you gain eight temporary hit points. That's amazing. Gale can absorb it. Okay, that's just worth giving to someone. Ooh, goblins drawing. A childlike charcoal drawing of three stick figures. Read. Drawing thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures. A goblin with sparks in its hands, a square humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. Ooh. 
nothing over here. Passageway. Oh, for Hobbit, though. Ooh, okay, no, not for Hobbit. Shattered sand. <coughs> Man, a whole ass place, okay. <gasps> it's help. Okay. Okay, so it's an alternative entrance. We might save that guy real quick. See if he has good information for us. Yeah, let's do it. Lookout. Torture. Let's take out the lookout. You're being arrested for assault. Judging by the look on this guard's face, you're getting off lightly. Why don't I have... That's weird. I wanted to fight him. Okay, do they set up like a giant alarm? Yes. Hello, my little friend. Gotta. Wow, okay. A bully woke trumpet, okay. Can I take the bully woke trumpet? I guess not. Yes, I can. Yeah, that's supposed to be really good. Softer than a whisper. If I don't get my beauty sleep soon, I may just get a tad malcontent. Ooh, shit. Ha. Everybody hide over here and let uh, Mysterion do this. Torture, okay. I'm gonna try to get in and get out. Key, good. Torture's key. Slivers of flesh are crushed to bits of this key. Let's not read it now. Let's get out of it. Liam. No, no. Please. Oh, don't hurt me. It depends on the answers you give me. Calm down. I'm here to help. Let's be nice. You are? I, I need to get out of here. Who failed stealth? Okay. Are you hurt? Where did the goblins want with you? You came looking for nights on, didn't you? Drew Halson was with you raising out. Hang on, get you free. Simple tub, tumble, tumbler lock. Make sure it worked in it. Let's get some information. What did the goblins want with you? The, the grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. They'll kill everyone. Please, get me out of here. Uh, you came looking for the night song, didn't you? Yes. It, it should be here somewhere. They said there was a hidden passage underneath this temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned. When we arrived. Let's see. What else do you know about the temple and the other treasure? Go on, where can I find the night song? Uh, let's ask if there's any other treasure. Where can I go? Where can I find the night song? But Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They, 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 they said they'd eat him. Please, please, these shackles. I, I don't want to die. One more question. What happened to the druid? Helsin, I, I don't know. He, he changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. P please, get me out of here. Yeah, dick move to leave him. Relax. I'm not going to leave you here. Keep trying. You'll figure it out. Relax. I'm not going to leave you here. Th thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see. Use the key to unlock his chains. Rogue, slide a hand. A simple tumbler lock. Make sure I uh, work with it. Be patient. I'll be back. Yeah, let's get him out of here. Make sure it work. Let's add. Guidance. Take a natural one. DZD says, uh... We, uh, you can long rest in the Goblin Cave. As long as the mini-map is that, you can long rest in most places. All right, I might need that. The lock clicks and opens. But how do we get this guy out of here? Will he come with us to rest? Thank you. I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the Grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. What does the night song do exactly? I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called the Rock and would reward us if we found it. That's all. We okay. I guess he's smart enough to figure it out. Fate worse than death. Will is inspired. Yeah, he is smart enough. All right, let's get out of here because I don't want to fight my way through all this. I want to try Lump's Warhorn. See how that works. Do I have to like convince him to do this? Sound it. Now what's he do? Food. The deal is done. Now, 
pay up. Wait, who did he eat? He didn't even kill anyone. You summoned. You pay. That Ooh, he's smart. Wow. Have patience. The spoils of the next battle will be far greater. 2,500. Ooh, let's try deception. Interesting. He's right. He doesn't just want to hand it over to me. Wow, okay. And the steering. I wish I could switch mid discussion. Roll again. There we go. You've got my mouth watering. We're agreed, Orsul. You know my terms. Sound the horn when you are ready. Well, wait. Why doesn't he come kill them? <sighs> and they just stumble around up there. They don't know how to do that. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. So I've really got to, like, get them in the right spot. Caster's weapon attacks won't be as effective as their spells. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. They're not big into martial arts. They're into big brain galaxy magic. Okay. Let's have a long rest. Yes. We're gonna do this fresh. The goblins have a weird camp. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Wipe the sweat from your brow. Uh, brow, rub your aching hands. Press your fingers to your mouth. Blink away the discomfort. Uh, the, the yes chat response is just blink it away. The world swims as you close, then reopen your eyes. How long have you been waiting here? A moment? A night? A ten day? Ooh. What the hell? Shukil gate vlaketh mazathok. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. See, so explore her mind. We're persuasion, we're just exhausted. Lower the blade before you do something foolish. As it's just a fever, rest will break it. Zephyr, don't you see how far you are gone? Give me that blade, make it quick. Surrender to Lazel. You will not become an abomination. Attack Lazel. Let's do persuasion. We're just exhausted. Bad bonus. Guidance. See, it's good that he has it. Two and five. Uh, I don't want her to murder me. Let's try again. Use that inspiration while we got it. There, okay. Situational advantage because she doesn't really want to do it. I cannot trust my own mind, so it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Whoa, okay, I gotta use my rest a bit more carefully, apparently. Or she needs just a temporary sickness. Oh, it's my adopted father type guy, right? I came just in time. You are transforming. I know your voice. I've heard it before. Who the hell are you? Back off. I've had enough falling around my head already. Oh, we do know him from something. I've heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. I'm here to save you again. That's odd. Don't worry. Because I didn't see him there. You will not become a mind flayer. Not when I'm around. I'll protect you. Thanks, Santa. Take the hand offered to you. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, we must learn to wield it. Whoa. I vowed I wouldn't. Interesting. Like, are they just not evil at all? That's what the that's what the mind players did, is they just made like a weapon parasite rather than a turn us into monster parasite? A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. Who's we? You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Well, do I trust Santa? Or is it like an illithid mind trick? Wait now. You'll feel better. I promise.
this. <coughs> Don't spoil it for me, Chad. I want to find out for myself what the heck is going on. <sighs> Why didn't ask me about camp supplies? I guess I just did that automatically. Okay. Let's, let's talk to the crew. My apologies. Huh. Not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. A visitor came to me. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. She told me she was watching over me, protecting me, and that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer. An uncanny apparition. I'm not entirely sure what to make of it. You don't believe this was a real person talking to you then? I had the same dream. A similar visitor with a similar message. Best to ignore, probably something you Uh, yeah, I'm just straightforward. A similar visitor with a similar message. Oh, come on. Very curious. In all my readings on the effects of illicit parasites, I've never come across any accounts of correlating dreams between infected parties. Another unique quality of our predicament, perhaps. Hmm. Are you inclined to take these visitors at their word? Of course not. It was a dream, nothing more. I'm not sure. Such an apparition has its own motives, whatever it told us. I am. Something is delaying our transformation. Why not this dream visitor of ours? He seems like a trusting guy. I'm gonna trust the, I'm gonna trust Santa for now. If so, we have far more to learn about the powers of play here. Our ignorance as to the exact nature and intent of our saviors is hardly cause for celebration. I hope your confidence proves well-founded. God knows we could use all the help we can get. I think uh, I might have a magical artifact. Uh, we're not going to give it to him quite yet. He's not exhausted. Whoa. Acid vial for... See, am I stealing my own stuff? Or am I just getting free stuff to use later, is the question. I think this is just like the general outdoor camp. Okay, let's talk to this area. I had a dream last night. A vivid one. Where's Carlac? Where you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is, a tadpole's little trick. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by a lithid worms. Ooh, he doesn't trust them. Okay. Uh, Tevia says, where's Carlac? I haven't found Carlac. Yeah, yeah. I went to the goblin camp from uh, the Emerald Grove, and I, didn't, I don't think I encountered Carlac at all. Let's see here. I think we should hear out this dream figure. Maybe his power could be useful. Uh, we, sh we should have as little to do with these tadpoles as we can. Let's change it. Huh. It's a big question. It's like, should we get rid of tadpoles at all? Let's hear about. I want to hear out the dream guy. I wouldn't advise it. Play with fire, and you get burned. That's always the way of it. Leave for now. Okay. Will's not trusting them. Yale's interested, at least. I'm sure Lazel's not going to anything, want anything to do with these guys. Galek, I had a dream, as we all did, I suspect. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. The parasite has taken root, it would seem. Every word, every promise, it is gate deception. If the parasite can empower, empower us, I think we should let it. We should use the edge of combat. Hmm. You're right, we should ignore this dream and figure at all costs. Let's change the subject. As you wish. Is it me, or have you been looking at me differently? I'm not gonna flirt with her. I think she's ticked at me right now. I had the strangest dream last night. And there was a visitor promising me protection, and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our hands. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. I did. Stay silent. I don't know what you're talking about. Strong, silent type. No need to be shy. This is a good thing. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. We should take every advantage we can get and explore this power to see what it takes us. I don't trust it. We should avoid... That's the question. So here's my question. Is the dream figure the same as the tad... Right? So is it the tadpole creating a dream figure, or is it some third party intervening? Yeah, okay, I'm second-guessing myself. Yeah, I don't trust the tadpoles, but uh, I, I was assuming that Santa Claus was someone else, like a third party intervening. I don't trust it. Is there a reason you're such an utter drip? I mean, do you have some sort of condition? Honestly, it's like you hate good news. <laughs> Did you actually want something, or are you just here to spoil my fun? Ha. <laughs> Leave. Poor Asterion. I'm a drip. Yes. Something the matter. Wait. It hurts. What the hells was that? A joyous little affliction that visits me with screaming agony on occasion. I'd be lying if I told you I know what causes it. But don't worry. Can't hurt you. Only me. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? I'm going to be nice. How badly? No, I need to know information. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. All right. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Turn to other matters. Uh... Something strange to happen. That artifact you carry. It seemed to just come to me. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. I know. I don't understand how exactly, but I felt it go to you. It's important. Keep it close. Wait, you don't want it back? I do, 
but the artifact has a will of its own, and powers to enforce it. It likely won't let me take it back. The best I can do is to stay close, bide my time. Eventually I'll need to take it. Then I'll have to see what can be done about that. There's more to this. How did you get the artifact to begin with? I suppose, if we're going to keep helping each other, I might as well tell you. I was part of a group sent to retrieve it. Bring it to Baldur's Gate for our goddess. I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. It's my mission to deliver the artifact to her secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. I'll decide whether to make a fuss or not. Hard to trust someone who's on me, and you could have told me how long you going to keep the secret. I didn't agree to join up with a Shah worshiper. I don't care who you worship, we have bigger problems. What does that mean? Are they like devil worshippers? I don't know. I, I don't have enough context. Is like a Shar worshipper like a normal thing? Or does she just basically say like I worship the devil or something? Uh Okay, I don't know enough about Shar to make an informed decision. Uh you could have told me how long are you gonna keep the secret? Forever, ideally. And you assume too much about what I can and cannot tell. Secrecy is everything for Shar's children. It is our code, our creed, our shield. I even keep secrets for myself. I had my memories suppressed, so that nothing I know could be used against the Dark Lady. Once I prove myself, my memories will be restored. Hmm. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Though, perhaps that might change, if you can show an open mind. Uh, let's see how open-minded I can be then. Tell me more. We can discuss this later. Let's just try to be, uh, uh this is why you. Let's just try a little more on you going forward. I don't know how to feel about this. Thanks for telling me, at least. I can't trust you. Best we try. Okay. I need to know more. I need to know what the hell Shar is. Let's be open-minded. Tell me more. All right. As I said, Shah is my patron, my mistress, goddess of darkness and loss. I assume you've heard of her? Remind me. Honestly, your faith is your own concern. I won't judge. She doesn't sound very appealing going by her titles. I've heard Shah worship is vilified by many forbidden outright words. Uh, I need to know more. Uh, remind me. My Lady Shah is the Night Singer, the patron of darkness and loss. Fascinating. Please continue. Sounds like a miserable relevant for a deity. Please continue. Most fear the dark, like children. Because in darkness, they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. Sounds daunting, I don't think it's for me. How exactly do Shah worshippers turn, turn people to their goddess? When you put it like that, it sounds strange. Okay. The, the, we're, we're getting the, uh, have you heard of uh, the Mormon? Have you heard about, do you have time to talk about the Book of Mormon? How exactly do Shar worshippers turn people to their goddess? We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. So she's in Islam, she's in Allahu Akbar. It sounds evil. I won't cast judgments on your beliefs. I'd be lying if I said it didn't sound good. It sounds evil. Well, if that troubles you, perhaps you should fetch the bailiff to arrest me. Ah, but there's no bailiff here, is there? Just leagues of wilderness and the dangers lurking within. We're in this together, but I'll happily go it alone. My faith will keep me company. I'm surrounded by lunatics. Uh, I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. You know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? Oh, himbo moment. What drew you to Shar worship? Tell me something about yourself besides Shar, besides Tan. What drew you to Shar worship? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. Okay. I, I I have a lot to absorb here. Tell me something about yourself besides Shar, besides Tan. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced. Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? You have to point out, alright, night orchids to me if you ever pass up. Really? You've flown between the pages of existence, but you've never been swimming. That's exactly it. Anything else? You've never been swimming? Hey, what happened? Cat, what did you do? Cat? Oh, great. Hold on. Okay. I don't have sufficient date, data to continue recording. Yeah, I get it. So how do I stop it? How do I stop it? Okay, it's done recording. Uh, okay guys, that might be the end of the stream. I'm gonna have to have some time. <laughs>